Okay, I'm uh, hooking up a power feed on this uh, bandsaw mill that I made. I mean, here it is, but uh, I haven't got it all together yet. We can get a finger out of the lens there, but uh, here's how I got it uh, hooked up. Got it like that. And here's how it works. I don't have the motor hooked up yet, but as you can see how it works I need to get a shorter bolt there I just now got it together and I'm going to hook the uh, variable speed here and uh, the forward and reverse neutral over there and uh, figure out how to hook the end of the chains up to it but uh, probably in a few days I'll have her up and running see how it works and another thing I've changed is I changed uh, this uh, adjustment side of the uh, wheel. I put a I put the axle. Let me see. I put a bearing and an axle over on this side just to make it more sturdy. If you remember, I had the trailer axle. Here, I'll show you the trailer axle. It's over here somewhere, I think. Where is it at? Well. Anyway, it's got moved. I don't know where it's at. But uh, this is what I used to uh, adjust it. I got it so it pivots right here. And this is a 2 inch by wide by 3 quarter inch by uh, 23 inch long bar. And I can definitely tighten it real easy now. It was kind of hard before. And... Uh, I was thinking about using uh, a winch like I had up up there to uh, instead of having it. This this is a a gear right here. Which I suppose I could have used a, a drum and a cable, but right now I got a chain on it, or I could have used one of them winches up there. It had a cable already on it and then a drum and maybe use that I don't know but anyway this is uh, how I'm doing it so I don't know if it'll work but I just thought I'd give you an update on what I'm up to so anyway uh, that's about it I reckon I uh, can't think of anything else just been doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that so uh, anyway thanks for watching Bye. Have a nice day.